Um, uh, that was, this was a long day with lots of arguments and uh, really good data, so I will try to make my presentation as a story. Story about uh, uh, Serbia, about our su successful uh, replacement and about, um, about uh, the path, how we discovered and implemented alternatives almost fully in uh, Serbia. Um, in 19th century, uh, this was the new thing. It was, this was, uh, as we know now, uh, set as a gold and standard for physiology, practical classes, and uh, at that point, that was the only way to teach and learn about physiology. So please rem remember this uh, picture because it's important for uh, for the next uh, next story. Um, these books, uh, actually my father bought <laughs> on a flea market for less than one euro, but that was a really important uh, thing in my life because uh, I could read books, uh, more, uh, antique books about uh, physiology, uh, or that, that was actually book for uh, veterinary studies on, uh, uh, in Sorbonne in Paris. And uh, reading these books and seeing uh, and experiencing harmful uh, experiments on my studies, veterinary studies, I could feel that, um, that what is the role of my generation is just to uh, try to change, uh, also to do something um, because we the entered 21st century and this was, yeah, uh, 19th century and uh, my generation should do something and I felt through reading these books. And you saw the previous, uh, previous uh, uh, photograph. Uh, um, that was actually a result of copy-pasting. I saw that. Um, we copy-pasted for so many times these um, these experiments without uh, any reflections, without any questions. And uh, we as a student felt that really good. Uh, we started in 2001, I think. That was a year um, from various faculties. We start with uh, campaigns. Uh, we both uh, did some research to find alternatives, but also we just argued uh, our, and uh, questioned and this, this, uh, started discussions with our professors about uh, uh, experiments. The first one, a campaign was um, called the mouse or mouse, and the other one uh, called uh, better click than squeak. And uh, that was a really good start and uh, we cooperated the uh, students from Novi Sad and uh, Belgrade really good. Uh, we organized lots of panel discussions, and uh, thanks to Internish, we could uh, use the loan system and uh, have uh, some alternatives so, so we can show to our professors uh, and not just uh, you speak in theory, but use uh, alternatives and models, etc., um, and show them. This uh, was really good uh, the panel discussion. Uh, that it was small, but really, uh, really powerful because uh, different students from different faculties, they were there and uh, th that was one of the best uh, panel discussion about uh, animal use that I um, was uh, part of. So um, never say that a small number of people can, <laughs> can do, um, cannot do a lot of, lot of and uh, powerful thing. Um, and uh, we were searching for alternatives, but also for grants. And uh, this was uh, the first grant that our professor from uh, pharmacology department, uh, faculty of veterinary medicine, uh, uh, won. And uh, that this was actually presentation of that, uh, uh, that uh, software that uh, uh, pharmacology department won. And the um, reaction was great. Uh, we invited uh, professors from biomedical faculties uh, from Belgrade and uh, during that uh, presentation one professor, she stand up and she said, I don't know anything about this, but this is perfect and I, I want to use it. 
So, and she did. Uh, she organized every Thursday, a whole department was uh, um, gathering and trying to replace uh, every animal, every uh, experiment on animal. But she said, I don't want to spoil my educational rule. I want to uh, replace animals, but I want that my students got the best education they could. So if I, if I need to uh, leave some animals, I, I will do that. So uh, she did, and uh, actually she replaced uh, every single animal uh, back then. Uh, this is the first, um, first textbook she made. Uh, it was a really good textbook, and for that period, perfect one, um, that uh, student could make uh, their own experiments on animals without animals and put uh, results uh, in a textbook. Um, so, uh, the, Serbia was one of the last countries to got um, animal protection law, but on the other hand, we had the chance to lobby and to, uh, to yeah, we, we could uh, influence that uh, so many departments actually change and replace the animals. So, uh, at the point when, uh, when the, the, uh, that law was, um, was uh, entering, we did these things. We, uh, we put uh, so many uh, amendments. We did, uh, we did a really, really strong arguments on ethical committees. And we put, uh, we not force, we just had a really good arguments for Article 44. Uh, and you are going to see that, that article um, based on reality. And the reality was that 80% or more uh, animals were replaced in, a, in, a, in the undergraduate studies. So we had a really good arguments that this is uh, feasible that y actually um, the small number of uh, departments that they are not uh, using alternatives, uh, they have a role model and uh, that they should do it. That, 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 that was our argument. And uh, this is a long article, but uh, I think it's important. And we succeeded to put in our law, and it's uh, still uh, running uh, that in primary secondary school you can just observe observe animals and in higher education um, or in under undergraduate level um, you can actually do s really uh, only unharmful experiments so everything Nick was th talking about that is and in this article actually we used lots of, of Indonesian policy uh, to form this uh, proposal and have this article. Um, this is a, as a re recapitulation uh, what we did. So we just, uh, mm, uh, we were objecting as a student uh, to have her use with arguments. We did lots of lots of uh, panel discussion workshop just to show and not, not to, to be in theory. Uh, we also um, had a representative in ethical committees, so we can ask for uh, just to, 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 to say or just ask the, well, why are, are you not using a, uh, replacements? So um, that was one of the direction to push uh, a department to think about uh, replacement. Um, uh, and uh, and so on and so on. And one one thing I wanted to say that uh, it's really important to have this domino effect, uh, to have one really good example, and really you know good not just replace but replace because you know wh why you're replacing, and then really domino effect is going to occur other department, they are going to uh, learn from this experience and a little bit gradually to replace one by one. Uh, we also did a survey. First one was at 2005, just to see what we are facing. Um, 
the figures are not so high, but still 3,000 animals per year, um, that, was, that was much. Uh, in science, uh, double, and um, that was um, the result. And we wanted, uh, four years l later, after the, we, we set the law, we wanted to see uh, what was the effect of the law, and is it a law just, uh, you know, paper, or is it a living law? So you can see that uh, the drop of any number of animals used in the ed education uh, in half of the way uh, was, was really high, so dropped from 3,000 to 448 uh, 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 animals, and actually, um, that was a really good opportunity to find uh, those departments and to talk to them and just not to force them to say, yeah, we have law. No, we, we wanted in, in a just affirmative way to approach and uh, to promote alternatives and uh, this research was uh, one part of the campaign and we tried to be, you know, just uh, not, not, uh, not to oppress but to to uh, impress. <laughs> um, and also, um, I need to say that because I could see the cruelty-free presentation, uh, we approach every uh, department, every faculty that, that uh, are using animals with the questions, and we ask them directly, same questions, which num you know, what number, wh which kind of animals are you using, so we could really good have a really, really good data about um, uh, the, the use of animals in Serbia. And the drug testing um, really um, went up because the one, uh, one law about uh, safety occurred at one, at one point, so yeah, that is the reason why we have this. Um, we wanted just to follow, follow up, uh, just uh, to be sure that uh, this law is uh, vivid and we are, we are living that Article 44. So we, uh, and we wanted to spread uh, the idea of alternatives and the implementation of alternatives um, uh, on uh, all levels, uh, all edu educational levels, not just higher education, but primary and secondary school, because that is my opinion, one, that is one story, education is one, and uh, we should do it on uh, all levels, not just a faculty, faculty, sorry. So we organized, again, panel discussion, round uh, tables, um, uh, followed by lobbying, media support, we did a, a few scientific programs about uh, laboratory animals, and uh, we used every chance to promote uh, alternatives in this article. Uh, we organized the seminars for three school years, uh, seminars for bi biology teachers, um, and called um, uh, as experiments on animals without animals. And we just tried to, to find as, as many um, alternatives as we, we could to support uh, professors uh, and these, for, for instance, I think that you can see professors from five different towns from Serbia and they, they were really motivated and uh, really like it. And you can see the, the professor on the, on, on the back, uh, he was really motivated and organized uh, one um, really interesting uh, class he joined uh, his biology class with the uh, English uh, class uh, with the Earthworm um, software. So pupils, they could learn English and biology together. And, that, and it, was, uh, it is a small school in a small village, but his motivation and ideas are really, really um, huge. And you can see that they are really, you know, happy and uh, you can see the, that enthusiasm. We also did the science uh, festivals because they are um, popular and, um, and we could really talk to people from five to 70 plus years old. And I can, I can say from my side that I learned through these conversations so much because you could talk to parents, uh, teachers, all kind of teachers, all levels, 
um, students, pupils, all kind of, yeah, professionals, doctors, uh, whatever, and, you know, uh, those kind of questions, uh, challenges, discussions uh, that I had uh, for four years in a row actually uh, show me where uh, we need to be, you know, stronger in arguments, where, where, where do we need to do some uh, research, but also uh, supported uh, this, uh, this uh, campaign and also supported the, the Article 44. And now, um, I can say really, and I have proof here, so you can approach uh, after my lecture, uh, you can uh, approach and uh, see the, these textbooks. Uh, the, in the middle, there is a textbook uh, for, um, um, from a veterinary faculty, and these two are from a medical faculty, pharmacology and uh, physiology. Um, introduction, uh, for instance, intro introduction to, from, from these books are really something special. I, I cannot do it better, really with so much uh, conscientious, with so much uh, awareness that uh, uh, these are not alternatives anymore. You can see through that uh, books that they, the, the, these professors, they know that uh, these are not alternatives. These are really tools that the, they live, they understand, and they are uh, just finding uh, new and better ways to do it. And uh, they are really high quality and they are improving, refining every year little bit more and uh, I can just up upload to that. And uh, I will use uh, just uh, one more minute uh, to tell you f just my personal reflection on, um, on, a, on a work, maybe the more than 20 years of work in this field. And um, I need to stress that human education needs to be uh, good quality education available to every child and young person globally. So s since then, I think that we cannot talk about human education at all. We need to step up from academic society. At one point, at least in two children, student parents and teachers, uh, and because we can learn so much. Um, we need to talk also, not with the uh, bio biomedical community, but also to teacher training faculties, um, because this is also the, the address, really important address. We also need to promote free alternatives and encourage teacher to, um, to provide and create their own, because sometimes they really know um, what is the best for their students, like in uh, Bosnia. Um, they, they, and also as an as a animal protection group, we can um, encourage and help them to do that. Sometimes they just have ideas and energy at time, but not funds, and uh, this is uh, our role, I think. And I also uh, really encourage people to, um, and teach it to join their uh, the classes, to join their the, uh, knowledge, uh, like uh, IT sector, like biology, English or whatever, and uh, the alternatives, they can be really some glue uh, for that purpose uh, because knowledge is really one. And uh, yeah, this is my, um, my uh, message. And if you have any, any questions, any, um, I don't know, comments, you can contact me on this address. Thanks very much for that. Um, I just wanted to go back to Article 44. If you had to summarize um, the article which says that uh, animals can only be used if this, if that, mm -hmm. if the other, would you say that it, it works out to be a ban on harmful animal use in primary, secondary, and higher education? Yes, actually it is banned because uh, it is banned to use animal in any harmful way. So everything we spoke about uh, today, alternatives, uh, ethically sourced cadavers, and uh, all that kind of observation without harming, like ethical field studies, and all that kind. So um, in higher education, uh, 
uh, is allowed to perform uh, exercise that do not disrupt the life and the well-being or physical, psychological and genetic integrity of the animals. That means that you really need to use and must use animals in a beneficial way and not harmful way. And, um, and I can say that uh, it, it works. I want to ask you uh, regarding animal test, uh, animal testing and drug uh, approval. Uh, the FDA no longer needs uh, animals to be used in preclinical trials uh, for a drug to be approved for clinical trials. It's a new law in the USA uh, from uh, January this year. So, uh, can this in Serbia be changed? Can this law be changed uh, because the FDA, the biggest uh, uh, drug administration in the world uh, already changed that. Well, I need to, to say that Serbia is not in a part of the EU first, so we are kind of, you know, not part of any mm, that kind of. USA, I know, but EU and USA, we are kind of, you know, um, looking at it, each other. So uh, I really can say that uh, the, the, the good step in, in that direction would be just more campaigning, more lobbying, and uh, that is uh, my experience. Um, lots of arguments, and, and we can do lots of through ethical committees, because our agencies uh, uh, that are using animals uh, uh, for testing, all kind of testing, that they are obligated by this law to have ethical committees. So this is also the place to, 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 to push. So my experience is always different kind, lobbying, uh, um, panel these discussions and uh, ethical committees. So yeah, I think that is going to be our way. <laughs> <laughs>